Good afternoon. Um, these are probably going to be the longest 18 minutes I um, have ever spent anywhere. And um, I'd like to start with that. I, um, I'm nervous, and um, it's a feeling I do not like having. In the, in the past, that meant that I would um, make sure that I wouldn't be in a situation that would make me feel nervous. I would, I would avoid situations like that. The, um, the way in which I dealt with situations were either fight or flight, and I either would make sure that I would never you know, get invited for an event like this uh, so that I had to speak publicly, or I would be uh, quite aggressive. I would have quite an aggressive way of, of dealing with these things and would try to lay down, the lay down the rules and would try to tell you what life was all about. Um, the truth of the matter is, I have no clue. All I, um, all I do is that, all I do know right now is that I am, uh, I am nervous. And I, um, I like to thank you. I'd like to thank you for um, allowing me to admit my fallibility. There was something um, I was never, uh, never very good at. I used to believe that you would, uh, you would judge me uh, for being fallible. I, I used to believe that um, um, if I would do something like this, I, it had to be perfect. It had to be, um, I had to be the perfect speaker. I, um, I direct in the theater, and um, you know, so somebody uh, in my position had to be able to sort of speak properly. That's um, if I ask this of actors, so should I. Um, that was my reasoning. The truth of the matter is, um, I hate being on stage. I can't stand it. I ask other people to be on stage, but I myself, I'm not really very good at it. And um, but it is nice to be able to sort of say these things nowadays because. Um, when I do things I, um, I'm not used to and which are unfamiliar, I know that I, I grow as a human being. And um, that I would like to, uh, to share with you. Um, when I was first asked to do one of these talks, I, um, I said, yes, sure, because um, I've always been um, uh, taught to sort of say yes straight away. And I didn't really know what I let myself in for. I hadn't really um, heard of TED Talks as such. And I, um, and I sort of thought, well, anyway, it's a good opportunity to get back to, uh, get, get back to Latvia. And so I, um, so I said yes. And then I started to ask around. Some people sort of said, TED Talks? No, never heard of them. And other people sort of said, TED Talks, they're really inspirational talks. I, I listen to them constantly. And then I go like, oh, damn. You know, it's like an inspirational talk. What do I have to say? How can I, how can I inspire people? What does inspire actually mean? And, and, I, um, and, I, and then I sort of thought, well, you know, isn't that the same as what I do with the theater? Don't I, don't I try to inspire with, with a production? And, I, and of course I do. I, of course I would like, you know, an audience to go and see something I have directed and go away and sort of think about what they've seen and, and, and grow because of it. And I think, for me, that is what, what inspirational means. I, I hear something, I'm confronted with something, and I grow from it. And um, I'm normally, as a director, in quite a lucky situation in the sort of sense that I can choose plays which um, reflect something of my personal life. So I, you know, recently um, I did uh, Gone with the Wind, and I, um, I was particularly, you know, taken by one of the lines uh, it says in that, in that novel, and it said, you know, I'll deal with that tomorrow. And I... Um, but I found that in my life, um, that way of living um, stops me from living. It stops me from, from being in the now. It stops me from, from the, my ability to surrender to reality. And um, that is the one thing you know, I like you know, nowadays more than anything else. I would like to be in the now. I only have one life and I would like to live it now. I don't want to live it in the past, or I don't want to live it in the future. So, seven years ago, I would not have uh, admitted 
to um, being nervous. I would not have admitted to being, to being jealous or to being re uh, resentful or to being, you know, any of these kind of things because I would, f you know, see them as negative, uh, negative emotions and I would definitely not dare to uh, admit to them. I, um, I operated out of fear. I operated out of the fact that I, I thought that I wasn't good enough and I thought that you thought that if uh, uh, that I was not good enough, so therefore I shouldn't be where where I was, um, and basically that meant that I became trapped by my by my own perceptions. And the only way in which I could sustain that was by by um, by by you know by by extra. Um, uh, means I um, I drank too much. I I took too much drugs. I uh, I did everything. Uh, I think do, did everything too much, and mainly I did those things because I th it helped me to control these feelings I would feel uncomfortable with, um, until uh, it backfired. And all these things that uh, originally helped me to sort of sustain this control over these uncomfortable feelings um, stopped me uh, uh, doing the things I love doing altogether. And so I had to come up with a, with a plan B. And uh, that plan B uh, happened by um, me asking for, for help. And that was the very first time that uh, I actually asked for help in my life. Up until that moment in time, I thought that I, had, like I sort of said, had to control these feelings, and that self-reliance made me never ask for, never ask for help. And um, uh, in, in that, I separated myself from you, and I've separated myself from from mankind. And I, and I also got very angry when, uh, in that perception uh, I had of what you thought of me, you didn't cohere to that same idea either. So. I would be, as a director, also quite aggressive in, my, um, in how, I, how I rehearsed and I came in with a plan. This is how it's going to be. This is what the play is going to be like. This is what you're going to do. This is how you say it. And, this, um, and I, would never, uh, I would never listen to what anybody else had to offer. Not to sort of say that they were all necessarily bad productions, but um, uh, it wasn't a very uh, enjoyable process. Um, I, I was, it was a very lonely place to be, to believe that the world around me believed in my perfection and I had to live up to those ideals. By, um, by uh, you know, when the wheels came off my, my life through my, through, through my drinking and drug using, I, um, I, I had to reconsider all of that, and I had to, in, in, the, in the asking for help, I realized self-reliance is not um, going to help me any further. And I, um, I found myself in a position where, um, I, I, t I tell a little story, where I, when I had uh, uh, stopped uh, uh, drinking and I still was very insecure about how to, how to live my life and, but wanted to do things differently and I was in a, in a job in Hong Kong and um, so every day I would go in and sort of thinking, today I'm going to be very nice to those people and I'm going to make sure that I, I tell exactly, I'll listen to them and I'll be, be very kind and um, and then I didn't get what I wanted. So uh, then the next day I went in like, okay, sort this, I'm gonna be very angry and I'm very, very aggressive and I'm gonna tell them exactly what it is. And I got sacked from that, from that job. This is after I, um, I thought that my life had um, gone downhill and couldn't go any further. And now, in sobriety, I started to lose, I started to lose work because I was still you know, hanging on to this belief that I, that I had to control my, my feelings and I had to, uh, and I had to do that uh, by, by, by thinking that I um, could never express what I was really feeling at any given moment in time. Um, so uh, uh, after having asked for help, after having been, uh, been, uh, been sacked from work, I really had to uh, reconsider again. And uh, this time around, uh, I did something which, um, which is very personal. 
and which is um, somehow uh, 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 shaming for myself. But I, um, I was swimming in a swimming pool. I love swimming, and I, I was in a 50-meter pool right next to my house, which is in a very lovely place. And I, uh, I'm saying those kind of things because I love swimming. I, lo I was in a place I love being. And I was halfway through my exercise, I'd becoming fit again, and suddenly I had this massive pit in my stomach, and I didn't know what was going on. And, I, um, and so I, I prayed. I asked, I asked uh, for help um, beyond uh, the help I was previously uh, um, uh, uh, asking for, and something changed uh, um, massively, but at the, 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 the pain in my stomach didn't disappear, but what happened was that I, um, I was able to surrender to reality, and my reality at that moment was very simple. Somebody else had come into the swimming pool who was a better swimmer than I was, who was in better shape than I was, and I was jealous. And I, um, I had never, up until that moment in time, even to myself, dared to admit those kind of things. But when I did dare to admit this for the first time, I was able to, I was able to grow. I was able to, I was able to swim behind uh, this fellow swimmer, and I was able to learn from that particular person. Since then, um, I've become friends with this swimmer, and I've been able to, to help him um, with different matters than just, just swimming in general. And I bring this back to my work. Since I realized that I uh, could own up to my, to my infallibility, to, to my fallibility, I, um, I, have, uh, I have grown as a human being, and I think my work has grown uh, too. It meant that I, I could share to actors when I wasn't, was, when I wasn't sure about something, or I could ask uh, the designer when I wasn't sure about something. And just a very quick example to finish off. Um, Gone with the Wind I, uh, runs now for four hours. But when I uh, uh, first staged it, and because I did the adaptation for it, it was nearly six and a half hours long. And um, only with the help of the actors were we able to reduce it back to four hours. Since I uh, have been able to uh, uh, ask, for, ask for help uh, and accept the help of other people, um, the things I do, are, uh, have, become gr have become bigger and better, and I um, would like to leave it at that. Thank you.